everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am doing something I have not done in a while. In fact, I think I only did Amazon one time and it was a combined video. So today I am showing you only Amazon and I am finally doing that hair tutorial that you've asked for. So if you like the look of my hair today, stick around till the end of the video. Well, I will be using, that did not sound right, where I will be using one of my Amazon products to give you a hair tutorial. And I just love how it turned out. Yes, I'm wearing workout clothing and I am kind of dressed up as far as the jewelry, but it's all Amazon stuff, well, most of it. So I wanna go over it with you and I will. All right, so check these pants out. These are like a brown, but I've also noticed that they're kind of a maroon. Um, yeah, a little bit maroon and brown leopard or cheetah, as Tali likes to say, print. And yes, for the for the video, sake of the video and the, and the fact that I'm in my bedroom, I am wearing my, which I will link as well, $7 Birkenstock dupe Walmart slippers that I love. Just got them the other day. And if you have not seen my Walmart haul, shame on you, but go watch it. It's a really good one. All right, anyway, back to what I am wearing. So. I was thinking that I have worn, and I've mentioned this before, I've shown you a little bit of workout gear, but I've worn Lululemon for years, and I've never actually found a dupe where I could say 90 to 95% they are a dupe for Lululemon. Lululemon's, if you don't know, is a very high-end athletic company, and they're known for their leggings. They are very flattering, and they compress, and blah, blah, blah. Well, they're $98 a pair. So I do have like currently maybe five pairs, but they're all really old. I have not purchased any in about four years. And most, if not all of them were gifts for my husband. He introduced me to them long before they were trendy and people wanted to have that little symbol. So anyway, they really do last, but this is not about Lululemon. This is about a dupe. So uh, one of the pairs that I love from them is their Wonder Under, I think they're called, leggings. We'll check these out one more time. I got these from Amazon. They're high rise leggings. They're considered yoga leggings and they're, I guess, ankle length. I could really be hiking them up a little more if I want to, but they were $30 on Amazon. They are by CRZ Yoga, and I will, of course, as I always do, link everything in the description box below. But can I just tell you, I have never found anything close to Lululemon. I have found nice leggings, flattering. Uh, they have compression. You've seen my Walmart video from a, a few months ago, and I still do love those leggings. But these, if you're looking for something exactly like Lululemon and you don't care about the symbol, because I certainly don't, uh, try these out. So they're CRZ Yoga, they're gonna be listed below. They have millions of prints, which I like as well, because I, for the most part, Lululemon has solids. They get a few designs here and there, but you know, I love the leopard. So these feel so comfortable. I think they're flattering. Um, and let me tell you about the shirt. So this is actually considered a sports bra. And if you'll remember in my denim video, I was telling you guys how, yes, you can rock the crop shirts if you have the high waist. Well, you can do whatever you want. But for me to be comfortable, this is how I rock the crop shirts. I wear them with something high-waisted. So if you see that much skin, who cares? But for the most part, you really don't. Now, it could be because I'm short-waisted, but it also is because these are high-rise, and I got a large in this top. So this top for me is a dupe for their long line sports bras that they sell at Lululemon. Those are $58. This was $14.99. I did size up. I am wearing it in a large. And by the way, back to the pants, these are in a small. And I take like an eight, believe it or not, um, in Lulu's, sometimes a six. But so these, I feel like run more true to size where Lululemon is kind of, um, they run small. $14.99, this is padded. There is a shelf bra inside and it's super comfortable, easy to get on and off. And I just think this whole outfit looks very high end. 
if you are going to the gym or you're going to yoga or you're going to get ready to run outside or you're running outside, maybe you have better weather than us because currently it is like 19 degrees outside. Uh, get this stuff. You will feel so good about yourself. I've been rocking the same, you know, my Time and True black tank tops, the three pack that I bought in the summertime. I wear those constantly and I'm glad I have them, but it does feel great and inspiring to put on new workout clothes. So this is my outfit, $30, $14.99. Okay, and I did wanna go over my jewelry quickly. Uh, what did I wanna show you? Oh, this ring is very recent from Amazon. It's very up to date. And I think it's just called the gold bar ring. And it said 14 karat gold in the description. I don't think it is. It was $11.99. But either way, I absolutely love it. This necklace also is from Amazon. I think it was like, I honestly don't remember, maybe $11, something around that. All of this will be linked below. All right, I have one more outfit to show you and then we're gonna get to the hair tutorial. But you guys, seriously, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried Lululemon and if you have what you think of these. Now, I know it's hard to tell just from looking at them, but I'm telling you, try these out. And maybe I'm late to the game because there are thousands of reviews saying the same thing. I just happened to find them on social media and then I thought, well, let me try them and I'll let everyone know. So honest opinion, the, these are fantastic. This I absolutely love as well, of course in black. They had many other designs, so you don't have to do this, but I just love it. All right, let me try the next outfit on. Okay, you guys, this is my next outfit. I was so excited to show you these joggers. And here is exactly why I saw someone on social media wearing the coolest pair of joggers I had ever seen. She linked them in her bio, and I was like, oh my goodness, I wanna show everyone on YouTube these joggers. I'm gonna buy them and dress them up because she had them all dressed up like this. I mean, look at me, joggers in heels, okay? So I was all excited. I click on the link, they're $198. And I am all about the affordable fashion, so you know I wasn't gonna buy those. So what did I do? I was on Amazon for probably 45 minutes and I found these. So these look a lot like the ones I saw and I am inserting the picture right here. And these were $13.99, okay? $13.99 for what I think is a perfect dupe for the ones I saw. I believe it was on the Nordstrom website that her link was for. You probably already saw it, but yes, $13.99. There's a company on Amazon, it's called Leggings Depot, and they sell these ultra soft, these are thin, so we're looking forward to spring now. Uh, if you're in a more mild climate than I am, you can certainly wear them right away, but I'll probably wait till it hits at least 40 degrees. I mean, I'm talking I'm in the teens over here, so these are too thin for this weather. But check these out. This is how you dress up a pair of joggers. $13.99 on Amazon, they will be linked below. The vendor or manufacturer is Leggings Depot. And in the picture, they also had the joggers paired with a bodysuit. So rather than pay, I believe it was $39 for just a plain bodysuit, $17.99 on Amazon. And I love it, it's long sleeved. Um, by the way, the pant, the joggers are in a size small. And I did size up one, I got this in a medium in the, in the bodysuit. And I'm kind of glad I did. You know, it's not tight, but you feel it everywhere. It's just how bodysuits are. But I do love them for high-waisted denim and high-waisted joggers. So yes, I brought out my blazer here and a little bag. And I just want to show you how Believe it or not, you can make these high-end and elevate them a little bit and wear them out to dinner or wear them out for a cocktail. You will not look ridiculous. People will be turning their heads going, where did she get those cool pants? I guarantee you'll get a compliment if you wear these out. Now, what I love about these as well is I've already tried them on and I will insert a picture here with a black tube top, one of my favorite things to wear. And oh my goodness, that was comfortable and cool. And I love that for summer nights. I'll put high heel sandals on 
and then the tube top will just meet at the very top and there are all sorts of ways you can wear these joggers and they did uh if you'll follow the link below have all kinds of prints as well so i'm going back on there probably this weekend now that i've shown you my awesome joggers and i'm gonna get myself another pair i cannot wait to buy probably even two more pairs of these because they're so comfy. You certainly can wear them in a lounging type setting if you're working from home, just chilling in them and they'd still be adorable. But the fact that I can dress these up, I absolutely love. So in the summer, like I showed you in that picture with me with the black tube top and probably sandals, I'll put a denim jacket on if I need to wear something at night if, if it gets chilly. So I just think they're so versatile. You can wear them any which way. And like it or not, the tie-dyes and the joggers are here to stay. So why not join in since they're comfortable and flattering? So yes, joggers $14.99 as opposed to $1.98. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that is a good match. Did I do a good job searching around on Amazon? I think so, but I always love to hear what you guys think. All right, so we went over my jewelry. We went over the two outfits. Um, I'm going to sit down at my vanity and we're going to talk about my hair and I'm going to play some video of me doing my hair and give you a little advice and talk about the tool that I bought off of Amazon and how I got my hair to look like this. All right, you guys, I did want to go over a couple of the things that I have not showed you yet. Um, one of them is I have new lashes on today. Hope you like them. And they're again by Airshine. And if you have not already seen my Airshine Magnetic Lashes video, I will link it here for you. These are the easiest lashes to use, available on Amazon. I got a new pack with some more fun, um, different sizes. If you've seen my old pack, they're a little more conservative, some cool, fun party ones, but I really wanted to take it to another level, so I bought these. And it's good to have, they are reusable. I absolutely love them. Um, and I just love the pair that I chose today. These are kind of like, they're not super, super long, but they're nice and thick. And I don't even feel like I'm wearing them. That's what I love about the Aeroshine Magnetic Lashes. All right, and I wanted to show you up close that these pants that I featured are in like the bun, you would think it was a washcloth, these little tiny pants, but that just speaks to how form-fitting and comfortable. They're like a second skin. I absolutely love these and I hope you try them. Linked below, in a size small is what I was wearing. For reference, I normally wear a ladies size four in most uh, stores like Express and Target. And I am 5'5". Five five. I carry most of my height in my legs. <laughs> I have a very short waist and I weigh between 130 and 135 pounds, depending on how well I ate that week. Um, this is the sports bra I showed you, and I've got it inside out just so you can see. I think I mentioned that it was a large, it is in a medium, and it's by Olka. It does have that shelf bra and padding inside that is removable. I absolutely love this. Um, like I said, I wore it more like a tank, because I had the high-waisted bottoms on and I think it worked out that way. So wanted you to see that. Wanted to show you the Revlon dryer. Comes like this. It is on sale right now. I'm gonna be using it in the video to show you how I do my hair and I will talk you through that. And this dryer, oh my goodness, you guys. It's on sale right now. It's $41.99, I believe, and there's a $5 instant coupon. So you can get this for $36.99. When these first came out, like two or three years ago, I think I paid $65 for it. It is new and improved. It doesn't get as hot. It's hot enough to blow dry your hair perfectly, but it does not get hot where it hurts. It's burning like the old one. So if you have not bought a new one recently, get a new one. All right, I am going to show you the hair video, walk you through it, and let's go. All right, guys, so here I am sitting at my vanity, and for time's sake, I'm just gonna talk really quickly. What you see me doing here is splitting my hair into a couple sections. The first section is that front bang section, and I am gonna keep that out of my way while I blow dry my hair. 
And as you can see, I have split my hair down the back. I'm showing you my heat protectant. So make sure you use a heat protectant of your choice. That's just the one I happen to have. And you can tell I'm super excited to blow dry my hair with the Revlon dryer. So it's split down the middle in the back and then brought forward. I do one side each. So I'm doing my right side first and you simply pull it out so even though I have my hair in two sections, each section is then split into another section. So I'm showing you how I take that portion of my hair and just continue to go over it and dry it until it becomes dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. Okay, and then here you can tell that I am just smoothing out the last few pieces. It really only takes like three minutes to do each section, and I am telling you I have a ton of hair. And as you can see, it comes out perfectly smooth, condensed, skinny hair that I love. All right, and I am just starting the other side now and just kind of doing the same thing. As you can see, I take that one section on each side and split it into two, concentrating in the front first, and then I'll go to the back, and then at the very end, I kind of do them both together. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this side up, and then we'll talk about the top. All right, so over here, you're seeing me just showing you how smooth my hair came out. And now I am going to take the top down and show you how I do that front piece. Okay, and then lastly, I am getting my hair all parted and brushed and ready to hit with the curling iron. Now, the curling iron that you're gonna see me use is just a standard one that I've had. I think it's by Hot Tools. And, oh, I'm showing you my jasmine brush. That is um, one of those wet brushes that I absolutely love. And if I can, I'll link it below. I got that one at Marshall's, I think, for $5. But anyhow, I'm just parting it down the middle here. That's how I wear my hair. My curling iron is nice and hot. I believe the barrel on that, I've had it forever. There you go, I'm showing you that it's at 450 V, highest setting. Uh, that's for my hair though, and don't forget, definitely use a heat protectant for this whole routine. 
But um, what I'm doing here is just curling it for you. I take the barrel, and by the way, that's a one and a half inch barrel, I believe. And I would actually like a smaller one to get a more tight curl. But anyway, and I don't go all the way to the ends. And you could see that little piece sticking out. I do drag it through and continue to section off each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up and you'll see how I always leave the end out to give me more of a wave than a super tight, what I call like prom hair pageant curl. We don't want that. So yes, leave the ends out. Okay guys, so I'm showing you the done side versus the undone side, and you can see that that curled up very nicely. So I'll go ahead and leave the other side in. I'm definitely gonna speed it up a little faster this time, and, and then we'll talk about it after. Okay, so I am showing you that I'm using the Garnier Fructis Brilliant Shine. It's a glossing spray. And as you'll see, I spray it onto my hand, not onto my hair, and I don't go on top. I go underneath and I drag my fingers through all that curl that has already been hit with a pretty stiff hairspray. And that's how I get volume. I can go as big or as small as far as my hair is concerned. Um, as I want to. So that's what I'm doing here and this is how I style it. All right, you guys, what did you think? I know I went pretty fast and I tried to talk over um, to kind of explain each of the steps, but should you have any questions, please ask me down in the comments below. I love interacting with all of you and I'd be happy to answer any questions. It's not, you know, that difficult of a process, but it works for me. And I think I was kind of timing it just by watching the video. And in total, I think it only took like 15 minutes from damp, it wasn't soaking wet, damp hair, because I had done my makeup and stuff beforehand, from damp hair to this. So I think it's pretty simple. But again, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I mentioned probably a hundred times, everything I showed you today will be linked down in the description box. And I thank you for spending time with me. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. That will notify you each and every time I upload a new video. I hope you're all having a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.